Hello developer, welcome back in Brandtech Studio. In this video series, we just going to learn how to make a Paytm payment app integration. So first of all, we are just going to browser. And search here Paytm payment app checksum kit like Paytm payment and now checksum checksum kit okay that's all and click on first link you just have to see it right now in this uh, file you just got some PHP files and PHP codes okay now clone or download it I have already this file so I am not going for downloading where is my file my file is paytm payment folder so copy this file okay now paste it okay I'm just going to extract this file with a 7 zip extract here we just need uh, some credentials uh, that is given by paytm so again open browser and type paytm paytm.com you just have an account for credentials in Paytm so just go for it uh, bought Paytm payment service now click on here you just have to log in here so first of all I have to log out from my old account and now log in with a new account Now we just want to make a Paytm gateway for our app so click on here. Now we just have to complete these four credentials but uh, we are in uh, just app staging so we, we are only accepting a one features is uh, that is our these types of details. Uh, we are in just a testing mode so uh, click on here for sandbox credentials sandbox credentials we just got it okay sandbox credentials we just have to fill our company name like blind tech studio blind tech studio your name black blind black blind email id app url web uh, just like a app app is put it here your app url and click on next now we have a credential for uh, app integration so that is uh, sandbox merchant id merchant key industry type channel id and that's all we use it in app integration so move towards your app okay so just to rename this folder with uh, Paytm now copy this folder and paste it in your local server paste it here ok now open Paytm lib folder config.paytm ok now we want a merchant key so we have a credentials so go through it ok open credentials that is merchant id and that is merchant key so copy it and paste it here ok paste it save it and close open android studio for make a paytm payment app integration so open it Now start a new Android Studio project which name is Paytm Payment App Our app data is finished so we just have uh, files that is activity main or main activity dot java we need some more java files instead of main activity dot java so first of all make it first new java class we need check some file check some okay now we 
want one more file that is constants so make it constants now and now we want uh, one file that is api okay now one more file that is last and that is paytm that is paytm okay paytm now we have to add one more file that is pgsdk.jar file nowadays it is not available on a github account of paytm so don't worry about it i will give you in my description list to download from there and uh, you have to add uh, this file like me so first of all change android into project now click on here after that open app and lift folder here here you just have to add a pgsdk version 2.1 jar file and if your project does not have a lift folder so make it there and after that you just have to add a pgsdk version 2.1 jar file and after that you just have to change again project into android and here you just have to add one implementation line in gradle file so open it okay. now here you just have to type this line in your gradle file after adding this file you just have to click on sync now and now we just have to move on android manifest file here you just have to use these lines to access the paytm payment transactions and for paytm pgsdk file you just have to add this activity on your manifest file now we have uh, all files uh, that is uh, needed in this uh, app so we just go through write the files uh, one by one so move on java okay we first write constants file now you can see it here i had been written it before you can see it here we have uh, some strings that is merchant id channel id industry type id and all here you have uh, some credentials in your sandbox credentials uh, uh, you just have to go through it and uh, copy your credentials and paste it here uh, uh, like merchant id channel id and retail channel id industry type id website and callback you are same for app staging mode so i just have to write it here and uh, for merchant id it it is a different for all projects so you just have to write uh, your merchant id now we just go through api file so click on here and uh, check it here it api is the interface so we just want to parse uh, some strings uh, that is merchant id like here order id customer id channel id text amount uh, which is in call uh, for your payment websites callback url industry type id so for this uh, here we call checksums it is used in your main activity to make a payment now we just go through checksum file okay here uh, you can see we have a class of checksum and private strings that is checksum has order id paid status and here we are using serialized name because we just want to use pass the parcels from one intent to another that is uh, we are using android uh, pass the values from one activity to other activity that's why we use uh, serialized now here get get method you can see it here okay get getter method for get checksum get order id get paytm status you can see it here now we have to move uh, our object file that is paytm 
okay here you can see it we have a strings that is needed in our project that's why we can use to make a successful payment so we want some credentials that we have and now we want that credentials value so we just go through it we have merchant id order id customer id channel id text tx and amount website callback url industry type id here we are making a getter and setter method for that's all strings you, here you can see it public paytm and strings or call that's it's that's the string now here getter method of all strings you can see it after that here in last you can see it we just have a private string that is generate string we are using it for generate random user id okay now that's all for paytm object file and now we just have to go through main activity here before main activity we just have to make a layout so i just go through it okay activity okay activity main layout now where is the preview here is here we just call only a uh, one text view and other one is button text view have a 100 rupees amount and buttons for call a payment now we just go through main activity now we are on main activity dot java file so we just go through it okay we have a text view that's defined a uh, amount and button for set on click listener in button we just calling a method that is generate checksum in generate checksum method we have a price text string that is takes a value of text view retrofit is a basically rest client library and we are using it to, to create a http request and response from rest api now we have a api service object and here where we have a paytm object and uh, in this paytm object we call six mandatory values that is uh, mid channel ids txn amount that is price text website callback url and industry type id after that we are creating a call object from api service in this object we are just to call merchant id order id customer id channel id from paytm object so that's all and after that we are just calling checksum that is on response and on failure method after that we are just calling in a slice payment paytm method which is called on on response method in in a slice paytm payment method we just make service from paytm pg service for the, we just uh, in staging mode so we just call paytm pg service dot get staging services now we are just using hash map strings to call all mandatory objects and values that is merchant id order id customer id channel id txn amount website callback url checksum and industry type id also after that we initialize the service to call the payment and starting a payment transaction after that we have uh, some special delegates uh, which is uh, very important in paytm payment transaction so that is uh, on transaction response on network available client authentication failed some ui error occurred on error loading web page on back pressed cancel transaction and last one is on transaction cancel in all six delegates we are using only toast method to handle it uh, you can handle it according to your view or according to your need
so we are just using toast because of to make a some easy method so you can see it here now our coding part is completed so let's run our app but before running app let's check some credential is completed or not that is more important for make a payment successful so go on constant file and paste the MID here okay and uh, just open a server okay start and we have one more file to check out uh, that is the config .php file so go through it and check okay our paytm merchant key is here so that is great and now save this file and close now just run our app okay now activity launched so click on pay now you can see it here we just have a hundred rupees amount for make a payment that is taken by text view which is defined by us so now click on login we just have to enter mobile number so we just have to enter a mobile number and OTP for that to make a successful transactions but your app in app staging mode so that time mobile number and OTP given by Paytm so now in this case I have a mobile number and OTP you can try it in your account it's the same for all merchants and now we I have to enter OTP that is login securely okay now click on pay now now we have a success toast that means our transaction is successful so this is our paytm payment app we can use this methods only when we are in app staging mode that means we just work to make a how to make a transactions in paytm payment app and when we are going to live for with a live credential so we just have to change some files and some methods in our app to make a live uh, payment app so for that you just have to watch my another video where i just uh, tell you about how to make a live paytm payment app with live credentials so you just go through it to make your own app thank you so much and stay tuned with the blind tech studio have a good day